How does an average person know what their skin type is really and or do they have to come to a dermatologist to understand Uh well uh, there are simple tests it's it's you know like when you wake up you notice which zones of your face are usually the most oiliest or you can put a blotting paper on your face and you can see where the oil collects usually if it's a t zone and then the uh, cheeks are not showing anything then it's a combination skin but if it is generally oily everywhere then we call it oily skin most people have combination skin the cheeks tend to get a little dry uh but some people obviously have you can see the open pores the scars the pimples all over the cheeks as well for some of them so they have obviously oily skin all over with dry skin you're you're just going to uh look dry and scaly and patchy everywhere it's going to be sensitive it's going to get irritated easily it's just going to be dry and then of course you have the sensitive skin kinds as well which uh can look normal but it reacts to everything it this redness and irritation with anything that you use so there there are these and according to that we ask them to use cleansers to choose their cleansers carefully or you know like moisturizers or even like sunscreens for people with oily skin they they can get away um, with the, they have to use obviously what based products or serums that are lighter on their skin um they cannot use comedogenic products like creams and heavier creams because that will clog their pores even more but dry skin people need to use something more moisturizing um they can get away with creams uh heavier creams and uh, yeah that sort of thing on the face mm-hmm.